Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to make a starting gate booster, one that you can push a button and it will automatically launch you out of your station. So, first off, um, just a simple way of making just a regular booster system. Um, I'm just going to create the actual booster reset system itself. This is just for making the booster cart rail that way. You could just, and actually let me stop myself from getting launched over here. You could put down a cart, push it, right click to get in, and it will launch you. And this system itself is called a compact, resist, uh, compact resetting booster. Compact because it only takes up four spaces, and as you saw, it comes up and resets. Now the problem that I see with this is if you put down your cart and push and don't right click, your cart is now launched out without you. There's a simple solution for this, where you could just create a hill, put the rails up here, then just stand at the bottom of the hill between the booster, and just right click to put the cart down, and your body blocks the cart from hitting the booster itself. That way you can just right click to the cart, and it will launch you without you ever having to worry about your cart taking off on its own. That's the second type, and this is called a um, a 90 degree booster because it hits the, this rail hits it at a 90 degree angle. Um, that's what we're going to be focusing on as far as the actual booster itself. So this is the next part is going to be on how to make the booster come to you rather than you going to the booster, and that's pretty much how the push button is going to start. So basically. Just in practice, just showing you what I did before, where you putting the booster down, it's going to essentially work like this. You'll be sitting in the booster here. Oops. You'll be sitting in the booster over here, and then the cart will come towards you and boost you rather than you having to boost yourself. You'll basically be starting here, pressing a button, and the booster cart will be coming towards you. Now as for making it, I'm just going to destroy this, just because this is not going to be part of the system. The booster track itself will come around and launch you out. And then this booster cart will return back to its original station. Let's actually create that station right now. So the booster cart of course will be coming here and hitting you while you're starting on that starting platform. So let's start the boosters. As, as, uh, as I showed you before with a compact resetting booster, I'm going to create one as well. Doesn't need to be that long. And we're going to have an outlet here. You'll see why I do this. That's the actual booster cart that will be coming to get you. Now to make sure that this is always moving, we're going to create a semi-booster system here. One that's going to be always moving. Now the way that the, this one works, this is called a incline booster because when this comes down, and actually let me close this off, the reason why you start you uh, create this one first and make it go up is because if you don't have this rail here, this rail will automatically link to that rail, creating a circle, and we want to make sure that these tracks are always separate. But as I was saying before, this is called an incline booster because when they both touch like that and touch like that, they merge together and that accelerates very much like how it was if we if the booster was here and we're hitting it at the 90 degree angle which is going to be happening over here but so as you can see this will always turn around and return back to full speed the second part of this now is making this become a switch that's what's going to be activated by the button so connect this here and you'll notice that the program will now think that this is a T-junction, aka one that's pretty much like this, where the junction's here and this will switch from left to right. If you look up here, from left, it will switch to right when we activate the button. So that's how the inbound works, uh, sorry, the, the outbound from the station works, so let's just focus on that for now. 
What we want to do first is make this become a switcher. So, let's go underground. And double check where it is. Uh, as far as location goes, you could either use, um, I'm using Zan's minimap right now, which is on the top right over here. Um, so I'm at negative 113 plus 583, or just negative 113 since I'm not going to be moving anywhere in the left and right directions. But um, one, negative 113. So I'm going to go down here, and this is negative 113. It, the booster is right up there. So what I'm going to do is put this right here. That is a redstone torch that sends electricity out and receives electricity as well. So now if we go up here, notice how this is turning right. That means that the booster can come out and get launched out towards here. And if we look over here, that's what happened. That's why it's all the way over here now. So what we want to do is we want to be able to toggle this on and off at will. So we're going to connect this via redstone torch, uh, via redstone itself. And I'm just going to create this as simple as possible. And I'll show you the finished version that I have working at the hub. So I'm just going to make this come up here. Come to here. And now for the actual button itself. It takes two stone. Put one on top, one on bottom. And that creates a button. Put that down here. And notice how this is not on right now. As soon as we press it, it sends power to this block. The block then sends power to anything else next to it, aka this redstone, which comes down here and gets sent to that redstone that's down there. So press that, and if you look over here, notice how that's right? If I press it now, it's left for a second, or half a second to three quarters of a second, and then resets back to normal. Now, the problem that you could notice right now is that this is always facing the boosting direction. We want to make sure that it's always in a closed loop first before it sends us out so that it doesn't get sent out automatically every single time. This is going to be called an inverter that I'm showing you right now. Basically, as I said before, whenever a redstone accepts power, it turns off. So that's basically what we're going to be doing here. Just something very, very simple. It, this will accept power. We'll create another one over here. Accept power from this side. So it's not accepting power right now, and it'll send here. So that's now accepting power automatically without the buttons, button being pushed. So if you look here, this is now facing left, which is always what we want. Press the button, and now it faces... Oops, sorry, it was doing a save. But press the button, it'll now be right, and turn left when activated. So, once again, that's how it should be working now. So let's try this out. That is a booster system right there. And as soon as we press the button, it activates and gets launched. And if we're sitting here, right on the starting platform, all we have to do is push the button and it launches you just like that. That is basically how that works. Now, something else you want to do, of course, is make it so that you don't have to always reset this cart. You don't always want to come back here and go, all right, got to put that down again. So the next thing we're going to do is reconnect this. All you have to do And this is why I like going underground, because you don't have to make it go so out of the way just to get this to connect again. Oh, and never do that, by the way, because if, if you block off this redstone by a corner, then this cannot send power to the next part, and I'll actually show you here. That's off. Oops, my bad. That's receiving power, but as soon as I block off this little corner here, that loses power. Yeah, and you, you see that by not seeing any redstone there. So take that off. That's having power. I'm glad I made that mistake, because some people do that as well, and they don't know why it's not working anymore. But, let's connect this back to here. And make sure you connect it onto this one. 
because if you connect it onto this one, it will turn this resetter, uh, th this rail, away from the resetting part here and won't work anymore. So put it down here and it'll reconnect there and you'll be good. Now let's try this down one more time and you'll see the problem with this, which will, I'll show you how to fix easily. So that's now started up. And as soon as I press this, it activates. And here's a problem. Actually, in this one, it didn't work. Um, actually, it did work, rather. Sometimes what happens is that doesn't have enough speed to reset. All you have to do is create another booster just over here to launch it up the hill. But that's actually very interesting because usually that doesn't work. But um, if it doesn't work and it doesn't have enough speed to make it back, then all you have to do is make just you know a secondary booster, let's say, here. that could just reset as soon as it's done. Just, you know, just to make sure it gets up that hill. But I'm surprised that actually worked because it hasn't worked for anything else. But anyway, so that's the that's system itself. There's a secondary way of um, just to uh, make sure that it always goes up. You could even lessen it by going, oops, come on. You could lessen it by just making it go Of course, I would have problems here. Anyway, but um, if you just block it off here, then that cart here, this cart here, it will reset a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll accept that that works. Anyway, but that is how you do it. Get in, and then I guess the sheep will push you this time. And the sheep will reset. Yeah, Minecraft, anything happens, doesn't it? So let me show you how this works fully now. And I'll show you the finished version that I have uh, up inside the hub. And how you can make it look all spiffy without having to have all this ugly redstone underneath it. And again, when you press the button, um, the button only has a half second to three quarter of a second activation time. The booster cart takes a second or so to reset. So if you don't hit it within a certain time period, then it might just reset automatically and you won't get launched out yet. So just you can keep, you can keep pressing the button itself. Obviously, just press once every couple of times just so you don't destroy the button, and it'll launch you. But let's just take this trip here. And you'll notice as well, it launches pretty damn far. I mean, it acts just like a regular booster, but it's from your base and you can press the button to automatically make you start going out. And when you're on the actual um, cart itself, straightaways will not slow you down. It will if there's nobody in the cart. But the only things that slow you down is going up an incline or going around a curve or hopping a junction. A.K.A. going over something like this come here. It'll hop this junction here and go uh, forward again. But that's only slow down, slowing down very, very little. Um, now within the hub here, the starting gate booster that I have, that's all sheltered in, that looks all nice, is all behind here. So if I take away this wall, you'll see that this is the system I have set up. That'll always go. The button itself comes from below hand, so you can't see it as well, resets to here, and neatly comes out there. Comes up. And doesn't have enough speed to get over to here, so this booster, oops, that booster makes it go to the final without having to make it get stuck here. And just to show you one more booster system, the one that is linking the main spawn to the hub. It's all located without within here. So this one you just press the button here and it'll launch pending timing it'll launch like that and come out and launch you there uh, this one's located behind this little blocked in area and the button itself is behind the wall behind here so that is how you create the starting system um, if you have any other problems just you know leave it in the comments let me know whatever and uh, that's how you get out of your base or home 
the easy way and with style. So, again, line on, have fun.